वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज आई प्रोफेसर रितेश दोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव सॉल्व सिंपल एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन फेराडेज लॉ नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई विल सॉल्व सम ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन विच विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड सम टिपिकल क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन फेराडेज लॉ ऑफ मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन सो लेट एस हैव फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर so you see in question consider a one ton rectangular loop of wire placed in uniform magnetic field as shown in figure so here we have uniform magnetic field right the plane of loop is perpendicular to the field lines so you see this is the loop which we have and plane of this loop that is perpendicular to this magnetic field right so it's like loop is like this and magnetic field that is happening like this right magnetic field is happening like this now the resistance of the loop is 0.4 ohm so let me write the data resistance r that is 0.4 ohm and its inductance is negligible the magnetic flux density in tesla that is given that is b of t is equals to 0.25 sin omega t so b is equals to given where omega is 100 pi radian per second the power absorbed by the loop from the magnetic field is how much now you see how much power is getting absorbed in resistance so one should know absorbed power by resistance is v rms square by resistance right so one should know this absorbed power that is v rms square by resistance r so here our agenda is to identify what is v rms now v rms that we can identify based on induced emf as per faraday's law so how much induced emf is there over here so that will be based on how much flux is there induced emf is minus d phi by dt where phi is magnetic flux so magnetic flux is how much it is magnetic field into cross sectional area so let us find first magnetic flux so magnetic flux is magnetic field into cross sectional area magnetic field is how much 0.25 into sin omega t and area that is you see 10 cm into 5 cm so that is 50 cm square in terms of meter square it will be into 10 to the power minus 4 so this flux that will be 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 sin omega t now we will be having induced emf based on faraday's law so induced emf is minus of d phi by dt so let us place value of phi so that is this that is 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 into sin of omega t so now you see this 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 that is constant take it outside sin omega t differentiation with respect to time that is omega into cos of omega t so here you see omega value that is also given to us that is 100 pi right so let us place that minus 12.5 into 10 to the power minus 4 into 100 pi cos of omega t so if you simplify this much term then that will be minus of 0.3925 cos of omega t right now you see as i have said how much power dissipation is happening v rms square by r so now we have v max right you can compare this with vm cos omega t right so v rms that is vm by root 2 so here you see vm that is 0.3925 divided by root 2 so here we can say power dissipation across the loop that is v rms square by resistance so square of this 0.3925 by root 2 
होल स्क्वायर डिवाइड बाय रेजिस्टेंस दैट इज 0.4 ओम सो लेट अस प्लेस दैट एंड इफ यू सॉल्व दिस दिस आंसर विल बी 0.192 वॉट सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन आइडेंटिफाई पावर डिसिपेटेड अक्रॉस द लूप राइट यूजिंग फेराडेस लॉ ऑफ मैग्नेटिक इंडक्शन नाउ आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वेरी ट्रिकी क्वेश्चन based on faraday's law and based on this question i think you can solve any questions of faraday's law of magnetic induction so i request you to see this next question in complete detail so let us have a question first now you see here a square coil of 10 cm side is moved through a steady magnetic field of 1 weber per meter square at constant velocity 2 meter per second with its plane perpendicular to the field as shown in figure so you see by pink color we have magnetic field right which is perpendicular to the plane of page and this is what square coil of 10 cm cross 10 cm which is moving with a constant velocity 2 meter per second in this direction right so we are dealing with to plot a variation of induced emf as coil moves along the field now you see how many cases are happening consider this is what magnetic field right now here we have a coil which is coming right now when coil is coming at that time all we need to do is we need to see first how much area that is what it is swapping when it is inside the magnetic field so this is first case where coil is entering inside magnetic field now second case is this coil is there inside somewhere of this magnetic field right and third case is this coil is leaving this magnetic field so this three cases that we need to analyze here let me mention that so let us see the first case that is coil entering the magnetic field so you see coil is initially over here and slowly it is entering the magnetic field so it will be swapping somewhat cross sectional area right now you see in question we are dealing with to plot variation of emf with respect to time right so in first case you see as coil is entering first i need to identify how much time it will take so it will start from 0 second and it needs to travel 10 cm distance and it is traveling by velocity 2 meter per second so time will be distance that is 0.1 meter divided by time uh, divided by velocity so that, that is 2 so 0.1 divided by 2 that is 0.05 second so here it will start from 0 and it will take 0.05 second to enter inside completely right now whenever this time period is there in between 0 to 0.05 second its magnetic field that is constant that is given to us that is 1 weber per meter square and here area is changing so we need to focus on area only right so in first case area that is how much you see this width is constant but this is changing with respect to time so area that will be 10 cm that is 0.1 into this is changing with respect to time that is velocity into t this distance is velocity into t and velocity is given that is 2 meter per second right so this area that will be 0.1 into 2 that is 0.2 into t so induced emf induced emf that is minus d phi by dt and phi is how much phi is area into magnetic field and magnetic field is how much 1 weber per meter square into area so this will be minus d by dt of 
zero point two t, and this differentiation is how much? It is minus of zero point two voltage. So EMF during coil is entering the field that is minus zero point two voltage, right? So this is first case. Now let me take this data over here. Now in second case. What I'll do is I'll calculate coil is inside the magnetic field. Now see when coil is inside the magnetic field, you see it will be a travel of this coil from here to here. So 10 centimeter that is already inside. Now when this edge is reaching over here, it needs to travel 20 minus 10 centimeter. So it it requires another 10 centimeter travel, right? So it starts from 0 0.05 second to it will take another 10 centimeter travel means how much another time is required. So distance by velocity. So 0 0.1 divided by 2. So that is 0 0.05 additional second. So 0 0.05 plus 0 0.05 that is 0 0.1 second. So what we can say is this coil that is inside the magnetic field during 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 second. Now how much area will be there inside? So it will be constant area will be 0 0.1 square 0 0.1 into 0 0.1. It is constant magnetic field is constant. So flux that is constant right that one can say. So that cannot produce EMF as EMF is minus d phi by dt and that will be zero as phi is constant, right? So when it is inside at a time, it is generating zero EMF. Now let us take third case. Coil is leaving the magnetic field. Now in terms of time, let us try to understand. See if coil is over here its initial area is maximum but with respect to time it will decrease and it will decrease up to how much time it will start from 0 0.1 second and it needs to travel 10 centimeter additional distance and how much time it requires to swap by this 10 centimeter additional distance in this direction so it takes distance by velocity so distance is 0 0.1 meter divided by velocity is 2 so additionally 0 0.05 second time PDR is required. So 0 0.1 plus 0 0.05. So that is 0 0.15 second. So we can say coil is leaving the magnetic field during this time PDR 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 second. Now our main question is how much area is there during that. So this is constant 10 centimeter that is 0 0.1 but into you see when it is Swapping in this direction at that time initial area is maximum. So initially I can say 0 0.1 width is there over here But with respect to time it will decrease and how it will decrease it will decrease by minus V into T So this will be you see 0 0.1 square minus V is 2 right so 0 0.2 T so area is there with us now now if you want to calculate EMF then VEMF that is minus d phi by dt where minus d by dt of b into a so minus d by dt of b is how much b is 1 right b is given that is 1 minus of d phi by dt b is 1 and area is 0 0.1 square minus 0 0.2 t and if you solve this you see this is minus of this is constant so that is 0 minus 0 0.2 and t differentiation is 1 so you see minus minus plus this will be 0 0.2 voltage so when it is leaving at the time its voltage is 0 0.2 when it is entering at the time minus 0 0.2 and when it is inside at the time it is 0 right so as if you want to plot this then in time it will be like this 0 to 0 0.05 then 0 0.1 then 0 0.15 it is like this 
right now you see it is minus 0 0.2 when emf is there in between time 0 to 0 0.05 so minus 0 0.2 now whenever it is there in between 0 0.05 to 0 0.1 it is 0 right now whenever it is there in between 0 0.1 to 0 0.15 second it is plus 0 0.2 so this is how voltage variation that is happening with respect to time. I hope you have understood this. This is quite tricky, but you will have to understand that in this way. I hope it will help you to understand future problems of Faraday's law. Thank you so much for watching this video.